Chunbo Xie, but it's a little bit for you to, to remember. So just call me Sky or, or Momo. I will give you a case study, and the name of my case is Monkey Lake. Okay, Monkey Lake Village. And it's a Sani village. It's a village. It's a, sorry, Monk Lake is a village. And the Sani is an ethnic minority living in the Monkey Lake village. Okay, and the village is located in Yunnan, China. Um, I, I found this map uh, last night, okay, so I apologize for the Chinese and the English. I just found it last night to give you some basic ideas. Where is, where is Yunnan? Uh, here is, like, you can find, you can find the Mekong River here, right? The Mekong, and here is Yunnan, it's a frontier province uh, in the southwestern part of China. Okay, this is a map of Yunnan. So this is Mekong River. Sani people, they live close to the capital of Yunnan province. I live in the capital of Yunnan province, Kunming. Yes, he is Kunming. And the Sani people live in mainly in stone forest country, you know, stone forest country, which is close to Kunming and the neighboring county, uh, sorry, county, and the neighboring counties. Okay, of stone forest. I want to tell you uh, something about the village, the background, uh, by showing you this. This is a painting, okay. Oil painting, yes. A big tree and, uh, and a small house, but pay attention to this part. Okay, you can see this, the roof of the house is, I think, made of tile, right? But this part is much, much bigger because it's made of stone slate. Okay, slates of stone. And behind the big tree, you can see a mountain, right? Okay, in fact, this village, this Monkey Lake village is famous because it is surrounded by cast mountains. Okay, and it is full of trees, both on the mountains surrounded it and in the village. I think in the village, there are hundreds of trees which are over at least 100 years old. That's the reason why I choose this picture. A village made of stone. In fact, this sunny village, this uh, Monkey Lake village, have a nickname or title, Stone Village. You can see all the, all the houses are made of stone, and, and you can see walls made of stone, and you can see roads made of stone. Okay, let's come to the next. I think in English, maybe a, a, a stack, a haystack. Yes, a hay stack, stack means where the dry grass, okay? A stack of dry grass, of hay. Behind the, the hay stack, big trees and the houses. So from here you can know that uh, agriculture is the pillar industry of this village. This village is now the, it's a, uh, sorry, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a village, it's agriculture village. And of course, this uh, hay stack is for cows, it's for sheep. So we, we also know uh, livestock raising, okay, livestock husbandry is also the important uh, pillar industry in this village. In fact, this village grew uh, plants like, like uh, corns, not coins, corns and the potatoes and the tobacco, okay? Next one. You can see two bulls, right? And the, it's pulling a car. I choose this picture to show that traditional life is still there in the village because seldom in other villages we can see uh, two bulls pulling a cart because this cart is a little bit different from the other ones. I think it's not so clearly. It's, the wheel is not made of, uh, it's not a tire. It's just a steel, steel or iron wheel. Okay, let's go. So this is uh, afraid of my English, so I make a summarize in text for you to have more understanding of, of this village. So it's surrounded by cast mountains with 86% uh, forest coverage, okay, stone village and the pillar industry, okay, and the most of the population are Sani people. Now I want to ask a question, okay, uh, so um, why do I choose these <coughs> paintings instead of photos? Okay, not because I do not have photos. I have show you a photo. I have a lot of photos. Then why do I choose these paintings, all your paintings, instead of the, the photos? Okay, in fact, several reasons. First reason is very personal. 
because I, I love love uh, I love oil paintings a lot. Very personal reasons. Yes, it's true. Second reason. Yes, it's it's true. Yes. <laughs> the second reason is okay. See those. Watch these photos carefully. Okay. Carefully as an anthropology with anthropologist eyes, then you can see why I chose those oil paintings. Compare these two photos, what's the difference? Yes, please, yes. Here, you know, two cows without people, but here, you see, people. And the previous one, also, sorry, the previous one, here, in front of the haystack, here is the people. But the, remember, still remember the painting? No people at all. Why I choose these paintings, okay, instead of photos? Several reasons. First, I'm painting lover, okay. In fact, my first visit to the village is because that village is like a mecca, do I say, for, for, for painters or painter lovers, okay. I have a friend who, has a, who thinks he has a good artistic taste, so he insists we go to the vi village because it's like the, the cradle of modern art in Yunnan, this, this village, okay. So, but the, the painters, they, they mainly focus on uh, landscape and they omit one thing, that is people. You can hardly find any people on the landscape paintings. So who are the people living there? The, the painters didn't give us any answer. It's anthropologists, scholars who give us answer. So follow the, the steps of footsteps of the painters. Okay, the... The anthropologists, researchers, scholars went to the village. Okay, so who are Sunni people? Well, I, maybe I have to say something more, a little bit serious. In fact, this photo was taken over 40 years ago. This is during the Cultural Revolution. Do you know the Cultural Revolution in China? It's a period uh, in which, okay, Chairman Mao, do you know Chairman Mao, uh, the founder? Okay, the founder, the chairman of New China or People's Republic of China. Okay, now China is people, I mean mainland China, where I come from is People's Republic of China. I think you all know, right? And the founder is Chairman Mao. Okay, during the Cultural Revolution, Chairman Mao was greatly worshipped like a god. And we have a movement called Get Rid of of the four old things, get rid of the old things. At that time, old traditions, old practices, old religions are all, were totally abandoned, uh, including Confucius. So that is really a, a severe, not a threat, but a, like the totally destroy to the old traditions. This is, in Chinese, we call it Hong Wei Bing, it's like the god of the red. So just the Look at it carefully. You can see there, there is an armband, right? Uh, in this, it's like a, a, a orange, but in fact, it should be a red because this is at first a black and a white photo, and then they try to make it colorful. Okay, so this is sunny people. This, this, uh, those people are sunny people 40 years ago. So you can see at that special age of getting rid of all the, those old, old things, this, some of them still wear the traditional clothes. Can you see? It's a kind of, it's kind of West, okay? It's called West? It's kind of West, okay, for, for men. And it's kind of, this kind of clothes for women. In fact, okay, now you know uh, what this come from, right? It's the sunny, not so traditional, it's a sunny bag, the same, the same design and the same material as the one you saw on this picture. Okay, so I want to emphasize, Sani people have, have a very strong sense of identity and uh, they, are very pro they are very proud of their culture until nowadays. Okay, the next picture, you can see more than Sani people with motorcycle, okay, with video cameras, computers, okay, with this is a, quite amazing uh, sitting room, but in, on important occasions, they still wear traditional Sami clothes, okay, for men, the vest, and for women.